What's up guys? Welcome to the first video of the uh, trophy truck build. And what I've got for you today is I got most of the front welded up. Uh, I also did a little mock-up of the bumper welded up. Just making sure it fits the curve of the body, which it does, thankfully. Which, around a month ago I finished the wooden dowel structure. I also made those window nets too, which are pretty cool. And if you decide to go with this like little project, I definitely recommend doing a wooden dowel just mock up because it makes it so much easier. For the body, all I did was spray a uh, black and uh, metallic like yellowish paint onto it, and then uh, I just added these uh, red vinyl stripes because I thought it needed a little more color, which I just used like the you know, big vinyl stick-on sheets. Pretty much like a sticker. Just peel it and stick it on. Which that worked perfectly just to give it a little more, you know, pizzazz. Which, you know, I absolutely love it. So this is the, uh, the red vinyl. It's got a little metallic in it. But as you can see, it's like, you think the finish is a little dull. But when you cut it down to this, you really don't notice it at all. And it Pretty much blends right in with the, uh, you know, the polycarbonate body. I forgot to mention earlier about this beautiful grill. Which all this grill is really made out of is there's a just one sheet of a uh, like a, you know, like a mosquito window net, and behind it is a uh, like what you use on like the cornering of sheetrock and stuff. They mud over. Which I cut that up and bent it to the body. It looks super sick. I think it really completes like that rugged look of the truck. Just seeing that mean grill up there. So anyway, the plan today with the trophy truck. Which I'll probably start welding up the uh, rear frame. Just the main part of the frame. After welding the rear frame, I mocked it up with the tires. Same thing with the uh, wooden dowel frame. It looks pretty good. So here's what I've got for today for the rear. I know it's not much welding, but I wasn't really in the mood to do too much. But tomorrow I'll definitely get like a lot more done. Which hopefully this update, you know, gives you confidence that, you know, I'm actually a really good YouTuber. And you can actually follow me. So yeah, ho yeah, follow me, please. I'm just kidding. You don't have to. But anyway, I think it came out great. Lines up relatively decently. It's, you know, it's not welded to there. When it's welded, it should be perfect. It's all square, ready to go. So then I can probably start on just doing the brackets right in between. And then hopefully I'll start on all the doors and stuff. Which actually I messed up on the wooden dowel body. It's a little bit crooked on some of them. But I'll learn from that mistake and make sure that these door frames and everything are perfect. Alright, what's up guys? So this morning I decided to weld up the, uh, like the firewall area. Just, you know, around here. And then some of the uh, door, just the main supports. These long ones here I already mocked up. We'll go like around there. So yeah, for today, I'll only do really the main supports. Then I'll probably remeasure all the uh, inside supports, because like I said earlier, which I'll show you, you can probably see it. I can see it, because I'm a perfectionist and a you know freak at this. <laughs> but uh, you can see that this, the uh, you know passenger, or the right side of the car, just a little bit out, just a tad bit. Because this end, oh, no, sorry, this end, it's a little longer than that because I was just rushed and you know I wanted to get this done for some reason but anyway 
I'm trying to make everything on here square and perfect. Which obviously I've got these two the same length, finally. <laughs> yeah. And these supports will go right across here, just like that. Tack those in. And these supports go in like this. And I'll also pre-cut two more. This post right here, this post right here, and also this post right here. And then that's what I've got for you. All right, guys, I just tacked in those two pieces and I'd like to show you a, a cool little trick I just made up like this second. So, you know, just make sure it's level. Which one problem here, I know that I can't put this flat on the table because I have these little spot welds sticking up, which I'll grind down obviously. But just for a quick thing right here, so I have to grind it down, I know that these two are level. And I know that this magnet would be level because there's no real rivets or anything underneath because these, these are the only ones that stick up to hold together. So I made sure it was clean and flat, obviously. And so I have the magnet laying down there. Also I have the hammer friction support, which now I can focus up here, place my level right on top. Oh, you, didn't, you did not see that. All right, place the level right here. So as you can see, not even close. Why is that? This piece moved on me. I actually noticed that just revealing the uh, images. So this, I'll just hammer it down until it's flat with this piece right here. And we should be all good. All right, I just hammered it now. Oh my God. <laughs> you can't make this up, hold on. Uh. Yeah, sorry about that. I ended up running around the shop and I found this block of wood. No clue what I used it for, but works for a weight. Anyway, where was I? All right, let's get this level on here. Ba bam. So I pressure fitted both pieces in. And I'd like to give you another reminder to pre-cut all of your metal. Makes building this so much easier. And also pre-cut them bigger. It's like LeBron James said, if you're not big, uh... All right, there she is. There's the wooden mock-up. Looks pretty good. All right, now I'll move on to probably finishing off the doors. Just 
This long piece down here, this piece right here, and I'll probably cut the small one too and wedge it in there. people doors are tacked in that's what it looks like I'm waiting for this boom Check it out. Right, guys so I'll probably leave it here at the video I think I covered I covered a decent amount of stuff try to cover as much as I can without draining myself of course but I gotta say I did a pretty good job getting the doors all lined up and stuff not making the mistake I made before that's just mismeasuring of course but always you know make sure every measurement's right pre-cut your stuff trim them up weld them it's like that don't get lazy like I did <laughs> anyway hope you like this build i'll definitely be posting more videos in the future of this <laughs> hopefully uh the reveal video is a lot better edited than this video i'm just assuming that because i know my editing skills aren't that good but anyway hope you like hope you subscribe hope you have a great day see you later